We've added smart tools to handle corners inside of the new version of Risa Foundation version 14. I'm going to show you how that works. So uh, when we create here, this is just a simple model here laid out with uh, point loads from a building coming down, a column loads, and I'm going to draw some wall footings around the exterior. Now, when I'm going to draw this custom lateral custom wall footings, it's going to actually lay out a slab around that edge uh, as a continuous footing for us. So when I push apply, and I said keep continuous, that was really the important piece, that checkbox. Uh, I'm choosing to do a 12 inch stem wall and a 12 inch thick, uh, we'll do a footing below that and we're going to just draw in a, a one design strip over top of that uh, with a stem wall there. So I'm going to say OK and I can just pick out here um, point to point, I can just click across that and it draws away a straight line across. The next piece is here, as I start to draw this across the entire structure, you'll see that the corners are now going to be mitered together as they need to be. So I can stop and start wherever I want. Um, I'm going to just kind of show you here as I go around this corner. Uh, you'll see how that now trimmed back to that corner there. So the, the slab underneath is going to go all the way around. Let me try this here. So I'm going to click over this point and I want to have this slab or this, this continuous footing meet this continuous footing. Um, so a quick way to do that, I can turn on my grid next to that there and I can it'll give me a point to click on. And now when I look at this here separately, I can see that when I'm looking at this model, I'm going to just render it really quick so we can see how this looks in isometric view. Um, so the slab now is trimmed directly to the point of that other slab or that continuous footing. These are both footings that are going to meet and the loads are going to be uh, together and the analysis is going to be submeshed together. Uh, so it acts like one. Now, if I wanted to have it not act like one, I could have just held it back shortly, but you'll see that it by drawing it continuously across there, it's going to act continuous. So I can do that all around the entire structure. I can just keep drawing. So I'm going to go ahead and say, I'll just draw, draw this from this point to here. And as long as I click on that point, it finds that neighbor. And same thing can happen on a T-section. So just like this here, I'll show the same thing I did on the other side. So I can click that point and click anywhere near here and it, it miters it. It doesn't have to be straight. You can see this is slightly askew. No problem. The program can figure that out. So now you can have a continuous wall footing all around your structure. To see more information on this version, visit us our website at risa.com.